<laughs> Speaking of expensive, Bola, how much are this? Uh, <laughs> sometimes I'm wearing them, like, should I sell them? Or should I? Yeah. Why am I stepping on money? <laughs> yeah, bro, please. Oh, man. How yeah. much? Just roughly. Uh, they were given to me and I was like, oh, are, oh, you, are you this sure? This was you a present. To? Yeah, no, LFD, I gave them to oh, me. A gift, yeah. 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 Wow. So they cost like $50. Wow, that's a lot of money right yeah. there. Look at the advantages <laughs> this guy is enjoying, bro. Bro, you have so many advantages and privileges. By the way, do you like get people gift you stuff from the UK, US? You get emails from even international organizations saying, hi, we'd like to meet you, blah, 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 blah. Yes, uh, I do. You get a lot of that? Yeah. But uh -huh. then now they have to come, to, they have to meet my criteria for who I work for because um, right. I'm under contract. Oh, you're under contract yeah. because and it's an organization. And they have a management. So right. everything has to go through the management. So they filter out they between filter a scammer. Out. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and things they don't concept. think are for me or will, will, will live up to the brand image. Okay. Yeah. So that's how legit you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, legit, uh, as legit as they come. <laughs> now, l l let's take a look a little bit at the, some of your successes. Uh, the likes of Ke Kula, Kula Budi or Kula, yeah, Budi. Kula, Budi. Kula Budi. But yeah. uh, are you friends? Uh, do you talk? Yeah, I have his number. I can call him. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we are friends. He's a really amazing person. He took time to mentor me uh, through, through this when I was coming in. And right. during that time, we got to interact a lot. And right. he's, he's been an amazing friend to me. Right. He's got a beautiful family, uh, right. a beautiful daughter, a beautiful wife who I like to hang out with as well. Oh, so uh -huh. yeah, um, we are really close. All right, amazing. Now, did he pass some notes? <laughs> of course, Lazima le kupea some notes. I said, "This industry is dark." <laughs> uh, yes, um, he told me some of the challenges that come with being Mr. World Kenya. Okay. Yeah, uh, he made me aware of them, and yeah, I'm I'm thankful to him for taking right. his time to mentor me. Uh, right. Kula also does uh, trains. Miss World contestants, Miss World Kenya contestants, right during the boot camp. Uh huh. Yeah. So um, he's been a big player in this industry for right. a while now. Yeah. Right. And uh, I, I love the fact that he he ventured also into a little bit of acting. I think. Yeah. Would you also consider acting if you got a chance and opportunity to? I um, mean, that's not your forte, come sir, come sir, come sir. I think I would. I, uh, uh, but then I'd really love to go big, uh -huh. be a really big actor. Like Netflix, uh, Zillas are Netflix, Nene Nene CZ. But Netflix, even Kenyan movies are on Netflix. So uh -huh. if it's a good Kenyan movie and it's on Netflix, then yeah. Like yes. international auditions. International nene, nene, nene. auditions. Afro cinema. Yeah, I feel like you you do best in Afro cinema. I don't know if you you'll be able to get that What are you trying to accent. say about me? Uh, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put you to a Nigerian organization. I'll be like this guy. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> uh, by the way, is there any? Uh, there's usually comparisons also of like you know actors that look like you. Uh, some of the you know influential figures that look like you. Who's the most? Uh, uh, let's say your doppelganger. The one that a lot of people say, you look like this, Frank, you look like this one. Unfortunately, I don't have, I've never you don't found have a doppelganger, you never, never had one. Found. Not even a celebrity star. I've never. For real? Which means I'm unique. It's, it's okay. not as bad. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's not as yeah. bad, yeah. But I'd love to. To uh, no one. Yeah, if there's to no one. one right. Yeah. Right. I think I'd, I'd, I'd be their friend. <laughs> You'd yeah, love to be the friend. Of yeah. Now, uh, speaking of, let's get a little bit now crazy. Mm -hmm. When it comes to relationships, mm -hmm. of course, uh, they know you're Mr. Wild Kenya. Hey, mm -hmm. you have such a high seat. Mm -hmm. You are on a high horse. Let me say you're on a high horse. It might scare off some people to approach you. At the same time, it might also make you vulnerable. When it comes to even dating and relationship, would you say you've had it easy to just get girls that be like, hey, Mr. Wild, this is me, and here we go? <laughs> <laughs> it's a crazy question. <laughs> so, uh, what I think is every man who works on himself will have it a bit easy to get women. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, um, it's not necessarily being Mr. Wild Kenya because being Mr. Wild Kenya means you've really worked on yourself. Right. It it's shows, a profession. It shows right? your value as a man. Right. So, it doesn't necessarily have to be being Mr. Wild Kenya, but any man who's uh, made themselves valuable will have it a bit easier on the dating scene. Yeah. yeah. So in short, you've had it easy. <laughs> it's been easy breezy for you. Would that's you say you yes? That's you to conclude. <laughs> that's you to conclude. That's I, love, to conclude. I love to hear. I love to know. <laughs> Has it been easy or it's been rough? Or it's, uh, I'm sure it can be intimidating. You'd agree. 
It to, can to be me, intimidating to, the to the ladies. Yeah. I don't think there's some ladies who have guts. They have guts. Yeah, yeah there's some ladies with guts. Some ladies with guts. But it can be intimidating for other ladies as well. Right. So, um, yeah, but I like to keep that side of me really private. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. Uh, yeah. Speaking of that, do you have like even people, even men hitting on you as well? Because, you know, bro, you're in the public domain. You're mm. like you're like a representation of the beauty for men. You're like a symbol for them. Do you even have also both of them hitting even on social media? Yes, a, lo a lot. In fact, I think on my Instagram, a lot of, uh, it's a lot of men hitting on me than right. a lot of women. <laughs> Does it disgust you and you be like, I'm, I'm going to shoot you? I mean, mm. it's like, okay, it's cool. Be, Let's keep talking. Let's be friends. Because I'm, I'm fully straight. I'm right. fully straight. So yeah. I, at first it did because I was thinking, why, why, why would he think of me in that light? Right. But then after a while, I just, I just saw that it comes with a job. It's part right. of it. So right. it doesn't disgust me. I just, I just tell them I'm straight. Right. Yeah. Simple. End of conversation. End of conversation. So if it's business you want to me, we can do. You want to do with me, we can do business. Right. If it's anything to do with relationships, I can't be in a relationship with another man. Right. Yeah. Which is a good stand. Mm -hmm. Now let's get playful. It gets dirty as it yeah. goes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it gets dirty as okay. we end. Uh, music wise, uh, let, 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 let me give you an option between Aira Star, Tinashe, and uh, Rihanna. Choose one and just a little bit of a reason why. Aira Star. Tinashe, Rihanna. Uh, Tinashe. <laughs> Why Tinashe? I like her. Okay. Music. Doesn't necessarily mean I, I like I don't like uh, uh, Star rest. and Rihanna. Uh -huh. Um. I I I don't I don't Rihanna is attractive, but right. I don't think she's attractive as people say she is. I think okay. she's a star. Oh, you will describe Rihanna I as a star. She's a star. Okay. But. I'm not as attracted to her in that way. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tinashe is, 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 I like my women black. Tinashe right. is black. But Rihanna is black, bro. She, she, she she's is black, but not, she doesn't have like a black skin. You know, okay. she, she's black, but not with the dark skin. I like my women dark. Okay. <laughs> you like it dark, yeah. dark chocolate. Yeah. Uh, another, uh, let's sports wise, sports wise. Okay. Can I put you on the map? Are you, are you a fan of sports? So yeah. Okay, uh, which team is currently leading in the Premier League? Uh, can I, I give you options? About it. Can I give you options so no, that I you guess, so that is. you fall? Huh? I know which team it is. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I hate talking about that team. Oh, just say it, just say it, just it's, say it. It's Arsenal. Right, you got it. You Unfortunately. Got it. You got it, you got it. Yeah. And I love the fact that, you know, Manchester United may move to number six. Yeah. I expected this uh, weekend, Mish, at least. But anyways, so I'm a is, Chelsea fan, by the way. You're a Chelsea fan. Yeah. I'm a Manchester United fan. So, so too bad for different you. Different tables. Yeah. Uh, but Gunners, <laughs> yes, here we go. Here we go. Here we yeah. go. And I think uh, we can call it a day. Uh, before we exit, uh, what are some of the future projects you're working on or current projects as well that you've got? Or what is it that people don't know is happening behind the scenes in your life that you love to present them and let them know that, hey, as Mr. Odd Kenya Franklin I saw you, this is what's going down. So um, I, I, from here, uh, from here on, I uh, just really want to take on a different career path in life. After Mr. Wild Kenya, I think I'll go back to being a, a career person, a career-oriented person. So um, for me, I just want to get a job and, and be a career person. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, we were all, before we exit, also I'd like to really know that, you know, uh, do you like to go outside country to represent, you know, Kenya? Are some of the countries uh, that are there that you've visited and you'd say, uh, yes, I, I represented Kenya? And uh, this is what I managed to bring back to Kenya as well. So uh, being Mr. Wal Kenya is a really big privilege because um, one of the things you get is to represent Kenya in Mr. World. Now you right. go compete against other countries, Mr. World, India, England, Argentina, right. all these countries. So um, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to. And that's why I've been on this seat for too long. Right. Because Since um, 2019, yeah. 2022, you're not <laughs> because, exiting. You know, <laughs> It's All because right. um, part of the contract, part of the agreement on the contract is the only time you'll get to hand over is after you've done now Mr. World. All right. Your competition. So that's right. what we're waiting for. After uh, Happening on? 
Uh, we are not sure as yet when we've been given that. So All I'm right. still here for a while. <laughs> yeah. So so far you've not traveled as well? Uh, no, not outside the country. Within the country I've traveled a lot. But yeah. no, outside the country, no. I really right. love the, this country. I really love traveling around Kenya. Right. Yeah. Uh, as we exit, a day. Oh, what is a day like in your life? Like from morning to, you know, as we exit. So, uh, so uh, first thing, the alarm rings. First thing, the alarm rings. Right. Uh, breakfast. Uh, go to the gym. Oh, gym is the The first the thing body. after breakfast. Right. Yeah. <laughs> after breakfast. I like to gym. be in the morning. Yeah. Right. It gets me pumped for the day. Come right. back. Um, social media. I update uh, all my social medias. Um, I, I have a business, an online business that I do. So I work on my business. Uh, and then I'm studying, I'm studying front-end development at the moment. So I'm, I'm in class. Then um, I work now on my projects, on my Beauty with the Purpose projects. I see what I can do with it. Right. And then five gets, I go play basketball. Right. I come back, hey, watch a movie, have dinner, and go back to sleep. That's a day. That's a busy day. That's a, that's a celebrity. That's a headliner's schedule, bro. It's basically like five five things. I think it's four or five things. Five things. But then normally yeah. there's uh -huh. other times there's a lot of photo shoots. Oh, you do a lot of photo shoots as yeah. well, yeah. So maybe twice in a week there's photo shoots in between there. Right. Yeah. Right. Celebrities that you've met. A lot. And Doug, I can't name. <laughs> just one. One when you lipenda. One when you lipenda. Yeah. Avril. Avril, there, there. Avril was the really, stress. really cool to hang out with. Uh -huh. Very, and very bought a shot. Very storyteller. <laughs> Ali, Ali, Mulecha uh, Pokin Dux? No, I, I, no, 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 I don't do that. I don't think he does. I don't know about that side of him. Okay. But yeah, it was really cool to hang out with Viri as well. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And I think uh, we can call it a day. Thank you so much for your time. Maybe your social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, if uh, people want to access you, a number, email, etc. That's your camera right there. Uh, I am Frankie on Instagram. I am Frankie on Twitter. Frank Asoyo on Facebook. Um, Franklin Asoyo on LinkedIn. Please follow me on LinkedIn as well. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, yeah, I am Frankie on TikTok. Right. Hey, you're yeah. on TikTok, man. Yeah, I have to be on TikTok. Lazima, bro. <laughs> Social media. Lazima, lazima, lazima. Yeah. All right. Uh, an email, a number? Uh, no, just reach out uh, to me on social bro, media. Bro, take your talk to Gia Simu. Take Simu. Which is okay. Anyways, okay. thank you so much for your time and hanging out with us. Thank you so much for having me. All right. All right. Uh, from that, we'll call it a day, but you can continue to engage with us on the hashtag Why in the Morning Everywhere on all our socials, Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter as well. It's that Y254 channel. And personally, you can find me at Brian Sanko 101. Thank you so much. And remember to grab yourself a bottle of water and mind your business. <laughs>